Hey guys, I'm Brinley. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. This video I'm really excited for and kind of a little nervous because it is TMI, I guess, for some people. But if you don't want to watch, don't watch. It's all about that time of the month. I've gotten the request a lot. Literally in the past like five months, I've gotten so many DMs asking for this video. And I just kind of put it off because nobody really wants to record themselves their week of their period. You don't feel like your most confident self, so you don't really want to record. But I want to share the experience with you guys and show you some tips and tricks that just make that time of the month a little bit better. And I'm going to do that through the movement that I do, the work workouts and stuff, um, the meals and how I nourish my body, but also practice balance, the types of stretches, breathing exercises, yoga, and just like the little self-care daily tips that I have for you guys. By no means am I like a doctor or anything like that. These are just things that help my period be a little bit better. So let's get into it. Hey guys, I'm editing right now and I totally forgot to tell you this first part of the video is going to be all of like the meals, kind of what I eat in a day format, showing you some of the workouts that I do. And then the second part of the video is gonna be more of a sit down talk, answering a lot of your questions you've DM me and kind of just talking about how I work out, how I eat and tips for when you're on your period and wanting to still live a healthy lifestyle. So again, first part is gonna be more lifestyle vlog type. Second part is gonna be the question. So if you wanna skip to one part, you can do that. Okay, let's get into the video. So it's nine o'clock. I have class in an hour um, So I got to make a really quick but light breakfast. So I'm not super duper full Usually I don't eat until like 10 ish in the morning because so I'm just not really hungry right when I wake up But I'm when I'm on my period I am a ravenous like I'm starving right now And I'm never like that. So that's just one thing if you have a different type of hunger when you're on your period Accept it. It's normal your hormones are all different types of ways and your hunger cues everything is different Let's make my protein oatmeal Okay, well, I'm going to eat this now and enjoy it because I leave for class in like 40 minutes. Um, but I do just want to say, am I craving dark chocolate right now? Yes, I literally crave dark chocolate the whole time of my period. Like, I crave it in the morning, I crave it at midday, I crave it at night. But if I ate a dark chocolate bar right now, would I feel good and would I be energized through the day? No, so the key is not to deprive yourself from that craving, but to find some substitutions for it. And you best know I'm gonna have my dark chocolate tonight, but I don't want it before I'm about to go to a workout. So instead I made my protein oats with all of the protein, carbs, and fat that I know is gonna fuel me for the day and make me actually feel good, but I used the dark chocolate flavor, so I still am getting that craving of my chocolate in, and then tons of nutrients on top. Um, antioxidants, anti-inflammatories, berries, so many good things that just fuel me good and make my body feel good and satisfy those cravings. Also, cacao nibs are like actual cacao, like that's great for when you're on your period because it really satisf satisfies that sweet tooth and it's a great crunch. So I'm gonna eat this now and um, I'll check in with you when I'm done going to my workout. Okay, I've just finished eating and guys, literally all I wanna do is just lay here. Periods hit me hard, but that is one thing that I want to touch on as a major tip because I'm working out because I signed up for a class and on class pass if you don't go or you cancel you get charged $15 and I don't really want to get charged $15 so I would suggest if you don't ever do classes or you don't have something that you're actually investing in with money um, maybe try doing that out when you're on your period I think it, it just literally forces you to go and like obviously you don't want to force yourself if you actually don't need to go like if you are dead tired and in so much pain and you just know that your body's telling you don't go but oh my gosh hold on sorry all these people are calling me from florida but at least for me when i'm on my period i like somewhat tell myself like oh i don't need to go i have cramps but i know for a fact 
that my body is wanting me to go because as soon as I do go and move around and get sweating, it makes my cramps disappear. I feel so much better. I get a kick of energy. I just know that feeling is coming even though it's like the last thing I wanna do right now. So I have a membership if you wanna invest in that. It'll hold you accountable and there's always different type of workouts and recipes in there. But if you just wanna to go to a local gym, if you wanna get a membership there or if you wanna invest in a workout class, I love doing classes sometimes. That's why I do online live classes for you guys. But I love also going to classes because I love just having someone push me. I feel so good to just be told what to do sometimes when you don't really wanna do anything and you can't get the motivation to do it yourself. Just having someone look over your shoulder and be like, uh-uh. Don't stop those squats, girl, keep going. I gotta leave in like 10 minutes now, so I'm gonna drink a little bit of pre-workout because your girl is tired. I got four hours of sleep last night, and we're gonna go. Okay, I just parked and we're running late, so I'm going into Hell Hospital. in LA you should definitely come try this out it is such a killer workout and sometimes there's a doggo there I'm so cold and sweaty you know when you finish a workout and you just like cold sweat <sighs> but anyways we're at Whole Foods now I go to two different grocery stores because there's some stuff that I can only get at Whole Foods and some stuff I can only get at Trader Joe's and I need both so I'm gonna show you a quick Whole Foods haul of the random stuff that I got here today. I was craving salmon. I always crave salmon on my period, so I got that and some soy ginger. I also got smoked salmon. You can tell how much I was craving it. This chocolate cereal, chocolate chip cookies. These are really good ingredients, and they are so delicious. And then I'm trying out this pasta with cassava flour. These are the ingredients. And then I get these chips, some popcorn, some stevias, and this is the hot chocolate that I use. It is amazing, and it hits that sweet tooth. Then I got some dark chocolate i tried both of these brands and i got poppies of course because i'm obsessed i got some feta crumbles and some coconut yogurt and my favorite dark chocolate ice cream you can tell it's a whole chocolate vibe i was very tired by the end of that whole shopping spree so just checked out and then i headed back to the car oh my gosh okay that took so long i went to whole foods went to trader joe's i'm back now but it is a little bit past my lunchtime and I'm starving, so I think I'm gonna eat first and then I'm gonna do the unboxing haul of all my groceries and show you guys. I don't feel like cooking any of these groceries right now, so I picked up this little Thai chicken noodle salad thing. So I'm gonna have that for lunch, but um, whenever I get these, if I'm able to, I like add more stuff to it because as you can see, like there's chicken, but it's barely any. And your girl needs more protein than that. So I'm gonna eat this real quick and then I'll catch back in with you and show you my groceries. Much better and much fuller of a meal. This is the dressing that I'm using. It's spicy, spicy cashew butter and it has cashew butter, lime, ginger, cilantro, and red chili peppers. Okay, I'm back. I finished lunch. I changed into my little work outfit. I'm gonna go to a coffee shop later, so. I'm gonna show you guys first what I got from Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's is more of my staples, like vegetables, meat, potatoes, milk, and Whole Foods is like my fun treats and the stuff that I can only get there. Butter, lettuce, and mixed greens, broccoli and cauliflower, some mini bell pepper thing, cucumbers, zucchini, celery, mushrooms, and baby tomatoes. Watermelon, baby carrots, sweet potatoes, bananas, a pear. I've been really into pears lately. I don't know why. Got pasta sauce, and it is ketchup. If you know, you know. This is the best ketchup in the world. I don't know what makes it so different, but it just is dressing that I use. For my dips, I got an eggplant hummus and a vegan tzatziki dip, some ground chicken. I'm gonna use this to make chicken pasta with my pasta sauce. This drink. And I got almond milk and these brown rice thins. I'll put as like a little pre-workout snack or a mid-afternoon snack. I'll do this with some almond butter, honey, and some frozen fruit, and it is so good. And then I got salsa. Will to be $56. So not too shabby because that will literally make my my meals for the next like four or five days. Offer 56 bucks. Pretty good. 
Okay, I cleaned up the kitchen a little bit and started doing laundry and I'm hungry again. It's literally like one hour, maybe an hour and 45 minutes later and that's just how it is on my period. So I just wanted to show you guys this moment. Literally just ate a full meal and I'm hungry. Just wanted to normalize that. I don't know the science behind what happens in a period in your body. I know some people have said you are burning more calories so you're hungrier. I know some people have said that's not true. I personally am not a scientist or doctor, so I don't know the answer, but I do know that I'm always hungrier on my period. So I know that my body needs more because it's cueing that I need to eat. So we're gonna curb that sweet tooth right now with some sweet watermelon. Mm. All right, I'm gonna wrap up cleaning up my mess at the house and then I'm going to sell some clothes on my Instagram story and head to the coffee shop to do some work. Okay guys, I just got back from working for a little bit and it's time to make dinner, I'm starving. So I think we're gonna make salmon because that's what I'm really craving right now and I'll see what side dish I'm gonna put together. Let's get going. Okay, she's done and she is glorious. So we've got the sweet potato, the salmon, and then the veggies. And I just put nutritional yeast and everything but the bagel seasoning on them. And I'm gonna be using my ketchup too because I love ketchup. I'm gonna go out on our little patio and eat this and enjoy it. And I think listen to a podcast while I'm out there. I'll check back in with my dessert because you know I'm gonna be having some dessert tonight. But this looks bomb and I'm starving, so bye. It's dessert time, the best time of the day. I got so many things to choose from. Like my normal fruit bowl, dark chocolate with almond butter, cookies and milk, a mug cake, or I could do hot chocolate. Oh my gosh, this is hard. Okay guys, this is what I made. It's coconut yogurt on the bottom, and then we've got frozen berries, some granola, almond butter, honey, and cacao nibs. Okay, I'm gonna go in bed and watch YouTube because my period cramps hurt. Peace. Good morning, friends. I just got back from Barry's boot camp. I'm a sweaty mess and I'm starving. It's 10 o'clock right now, and I am going to make, I think, a protein smoothie bowl acai thing. Let's get to making that. I'm so hungry. Um, okay, so update. As soon as I said that I was gonna make that smoothie bowl, I chugged an ice cold glass of water. And you know, after you work out and you get like that cold sweat and then you just get like really cold, well that happened. So I didn't wanna make the smoothie bowl, so I made protein oats because they're warm and cozy and I just put frozen berries on top. And I also tried some of the granola on top, almond butter, honey, goji berries, cacao nibs, and the protein oats on the bottom. So I'm gonna eat this now and then I have a Zoom call in like 30 minutes. What's up? I'm in my comfy fit. I just finished my Zoom meeting and I'm getting a little hungry again so I'm gonna make a smoothie granola thing because I'm not really ready for lunch. I don't really feel like making a meal right now but I'm hungry so I'll show you guys what I make. Okay, there she is. It's just banana, almond butter, a teeny tiny bit of oats, honey, ice, and almond milk and my protein powder. Half a scoop since I already put a full scoop in my oatmeal, Ooh, that looks so good. I'm just gonna top it with some granola and some honey and have that as my little snack. Okay, I finally showered and made lunch and this is what I've got going on. It is a tzatziki, like Mediterranean nourish bowl. We've got sweet potato, ground chicken, vegan tzatziki, a bunch of fresh veggies and a bed of mixed greens and butter lettuce. And hey guys, my washer's going in the background so I'm sorry if it's really loud. But it's a few hours later now and I just made an amino lean drink. Orange flavor and I'm heading to the dentist now. But before I go to the dentist, I'm gonna stop at CVS because one thing I haven't done for myself in a long time is buy new makeup. And I like to do like weird little acts of self care when I'm on my period because I don't know, it just feels nice to like treat yourself to little things. I don't wear a lot of makeup, but I am breaking out and when I break out, I like to do a little bit of coverage and then I literally don't even have mascara right now. So you can tell I have nothing on, but I'm gonna go do a little makeup haul and I'll show you guys when I get home from the dentist what I do. I also am going to Air One tonight for dinner with Olivia and Nikki. I'll put their Instagram right there if you wanna follow them. They're really cool fitness girlies, but yeah, I'm not gonna bring the camera, but I'll show you guys what I eat. I'll try to remember to take a little video or a picture or something and put it on this screen. But that wraps up my day, and then I'll check in with you guys when I get home for my little dessert recap. Guys, oh my gosh. I don't like using the word hate, but I'm going to use it right now. I hate the dentist, hate it. I almost passed out in there from just like anxiety. Just like having your mouth open and them just like, zing. 
you're so vulnerable and I'm just so scared of it. Like I'm genuinely terrified. Anyways, I didn't have time to go to CVS or Target or anything to get makeup before because um, traffic was really bad in LA. So I'm going right now before I meet up with Olivia and Nikki. I'm just gonna get some makeup and then I'm gonna meet them at Air One. Dinner with the girls was so fun. It was so good to just catch up for hours. I got chicken tenders, buffalo cauliflower, and roasted squash. Then when I got home, I had this little solo baking moment and made chocolate chip cookies. The recipe is on my membership and these are so fire. I just got done with training and I feel so good. That went amazing. It was my first time training those girls and they're so fun and so sweet and we had a really great workout. So I'm driving home from Malibu now and I'm gonna make a quick bite to eat and then head to my workout. So fun fact, the drive home was so pretty and I ended up stopping and pulling over on the side of the road and climbing down these rocks. So I missed my workout class so I ended up just getting home, making my little smoothie bowl as you can see here and then I got my own workout on my patio out here. On the spin bike I did a mix of spin and weights. Um, and I'm gonna go down and make some food now because I'm starving so I'll show you what I make. I literally totally forgot to show the camera. Classic, you can tell how hungry I was, but I made two eggs, a little bit of ground chicken, and some veggies sauteed up, and then I ate it with these chips as my carb. Instead of putting it in like a tortilla wrap, I just was craving crunchy chips and salsa over there. And I also snacked on this um, baby carrots and vegan tzatziki dip from Trader Joe's. Very, very good combination. Do some computer work now and call it a day for lunch, but I think I have like a little sweet tooth right now even though I'm stuffed from that, but I think I'm gonna have an Olipop because that's my sweet tooth craving. So I'm gonna do this and do some computer work and I'll see you guys when I eat next. Okay, hi guys, I just got back from training and I have dinner. Um, as you can see, it is literally in a baking dish because I'm starving and the dishwasher was running and I just wanted like a big salmon salad. So it's like a summer fresh salmon salad. And then I'm gonna pour the Trader Joe's dressing on top of it. You guys have seen me use this all the time. So yeah, that's dinner. I'm gonna try it out because it's currently nine o'clock and I'm starving, so I'll catch you after. Okay, dinner is complete and now I'm going to snack on this. I'll probably have like two or three squares. That salmon always fills me up so much because it's so rich. So nothing crazy for dessert tonight, but I am excited for my dark chocolate. Good morning. This is my final day of recording recipes. I had coffee this morning and then protein pancakes for breakfast with this peanut butter chocolate sauce from Lasto Foods. So good. Then this was my little quick snack with fresh veggies. And this was my lunch, ground chicken, sweet potato, and avo nourish bowl. Then it was time to pick up Lucas from the airport and head to the beach. I ate this verb bar at the beach. So good. Link is in bio. We, we tanned for a long time and headed home for dinner. Okay, I just got back from tanning. I'm so burnt, but... I feel sun-kissed and good at the same time. And tonight for dinner, we're gonna make this cassava pasta. And we're gonna make like a chicken pasta dish with red sauce and vegan cheese. And then I think we're gonna do like steamed veggies on the side or maybe in the pasta, but I'll show you once we make it. These are the uh, veggies, the steamed veggies. And then I made this meat sauce with this from Trader Joe's and some ground chicken. And then over here are the noodles. Kind of interesting. We don't know how we feel about them yet. A little bit jelly. But, like. Yeah. Hopefully they're good. They will be. Okay, it doesn't look the prettiest, but there's dinner. And we're gonna put some of this cheese on it. This is vegan cheese from Trader Joe's. Sprinkle a little bit of that on top. Okay, we're gonna go sit out on the patio and eat this. We love just sitting out here and looking at the city and enjoying a meal, so that's what we did. And then for dessert, we used this from Lasso Foods again to make donuts, protein donuts. The recipe will be on my membership. It was so good. And lastly, I just wanna show you guys peppermint oil is what I put on my stomach before bed when I have cramps and it really helps. Okay, back from the editing desk. This is gonna be the portion of the video where I sit down and just talk to you guys. So if you just wanna skip out on this or if you don't really care, you can stop right here. And thank you so much for watching. If you do wanna hear me just like sit down and talk, then enjoy, cause here we go. Oh man. Hey guys, I'm excited to share some of my tips, tricks, all of the above for you guys, but also show you my weakness and keep it relatable because I'm literally dying of cramps right now and it freaking sucks. 
So let's just dive right in. I think the way I'm gonna do this video is I'm going to use this part to kind of just like talk to you about periods, about my period and how to make those symptoms less suckier and just all of my tips and tricks for living a healthy lifestyle while you're on your period. So one of the major questions that I do get asked a lot is if I'm on birth control, if I'm on the pill, and I was on it for a very long time, and I recently just got off of it, and I got off just because I'm very sensitive. My hormones are so sensitive, and I just started noticing that it was really controlling my mood, it was controlling my hormones. I'd get these random mood swings that I literally could not control, and I just hated it. It made me an irritable, stressed, unhappy person I just didn't feel myself on it recently a lot of other people had been getting off of it and saying it's changed their lives so I decided to do that and I've been off it for about a month and a half now and I can just feel like my hormones are coming back to me like I have more control of my mood and my emotions and all of that but that being said my birth control did regulate my period a lot better um, and it took a lot of the pain and the symptoms away so <laughs> having those cramps now really really sucks again but pushing through it and making the most out of it and just remembering like when you're on your period it shouldn't be seen as some gross like disgusting thing that society or maybe like people have viewed it as but it should be seen as almost i think as a celebration of a woman's body and everything that a woman does and has the ability to do and really more than anything it should be empowering how complex and amazing we are and for me, I'm a Christian, it honestly prompts worship because when I'm on my period, I just think of like, okay, this sucks and this hurts, but like, thank God, like he made us able to reproduce and to literally birth a child and yeah, it's just part of that. So I don't know, it can be truly amazing if you choose to look at it like that, even though I'm like dying inside right now. But these are going to be some of my tips for when you're on your period and you do want to stay in your healthy routine, what you can do to just make it a little bit better. Number one is to just try to stick to everything you normally do. I think before I had this mindset of like, oh, my period's coming, I'm done with working out, I'm done with eating healthy, like this is my week to just go. And Although it sounds nice to do that, if you get out of your normal routine that makes you feel good and that carries you throughout the week and just totally just like throw it to the side, it's gonna mess up your body even more. Your body's gonna be like, okay, I'm on my period, but now you're also like just feeding me completely different. You're not moving me, you're not hydrating me, you're not doing all these things that you normally do, like what's going on? And for me, I realize if I do that, it makes it a lot worse. And although you do wake up with cramps and you feel groggy, and you don't want to work out, sometimes just like getting yourself to the gym and doing a lighter version of a workout makes you feel a thousand times better. I know for me with the working outside of it, going on a long walk when I have cramps, halfway through the long walk, my cramps are instantly gone. And it's like I didn't take any mitol, I didn't take any ibuprofen, and just that movement and that fresh air and that vitamin D, like my body just takes it all in and it's like the cramps just go away. You just know like that's so good for you because it's not a pill you took, it's not anything artificial, it's literally just being outside in the open air. The next thing, your body is under a lot of stress when you're on your period, so I try to just tone my workouts down a little bit. Like if I'm used to doing crazy kickboxing classes and hit classes and a lot of weight training and going hard in the gym, I'll either shorten the time of my workouts or lower the intensity and the weights and all that and I'll still get movement in because movement makes me feel good and I know that but I know that my body is also under this new stress and therefore I need to accommodate to it so I do that with the type of workouts I do. Signing up for little classes or doing follow along workouts online even if you don't want to pay for a class like just having someone guide you through a workout makes it so much easier when you don't have motivation okay the next thing we'll talk about is food when you're on your period one question that i do get a lot is if i have those cravings when it's that time of the month and the answer is yes i think we all do um the things that i normally crave when i'm on my period are chocolate i love chocolate so i always go and pick out like my favorite dark chocolate bar from whole foods but it's just very rich, very satisfying, and you can get really good brands that don't add a lot of crap and don't add all the fake sugars and everything like that, and they're still like clean ingredients and good for you. So you're satisfying that chocolate craving. It tastes good, you like it, but you're also honoring your body with providing it with so much health still and nutrients in that chocolate bar. It's great, it's a win-win. Um, another thing I crave is salty snacks. So like popcorn or like little crackers. Just honoring those cravings, like we all get them, and if you deprive yourself of them, it's gonna make it worse. So my tip is, 
if you can find healthy substitutions for those cravings. Whatever you're craving, you can find something. But if at the end of the day, your body's like, no, sis, I need this. Like, I don't want it to be coconut sugar. I want white sugar. I want this. Like, if you're just so set on that, like, give into it. And don't go above and beyond. Don't, like, eat the whole tub of cookies, but just honor that craving, satisfy it, and move on. And make sure that the rest of your day is filled with hydration and nutritious foods, and you will be fine. It's not going to ruin your progress. It's going to satisfy that craving, and you can move on with it. For meals, I try to make sure each of my meals is very balanced, so a fat, a carb, and a protein. I try to get a lot of greens in, a lot of nutrients, more than normal. Um, and I'm also just more hungry on my period, so I do snack throughout the day, just find healthy snacks. I love to keep like fresh veggies with tzatziki dip, and I like to snack on fresh fruit, protein smoothies, all of that. So like I said, just sticking mainly to your normal lifestyle, how I do, whole, natural, healthy ingredients, but satisfying those cravings when they come and just honoring them and honoring your body. It's not as complicated as we make it all the time. It's more so of just listening to your body and honoring what it tells you. And I just want to preface this like this is all what works for me and I'm just sharing my tips of what works for me. What works for me might, might not always work for you and there's no shame or guilt in anything that you choose to do for your body. But for me, it's just, this is what works. And I wanna share it with you guys because you guys have asked. Another tip that is very helpful for me when I'm on my period is stretching and breath work. These two things just, I feel like, really keep your body in balance, lower your stress, lower your cortisol, and just keep you in tune and in check with your body. Breath work is super simple. It doesn't have to be anything scary or crazy. You can look up breath work tutorials on YouTube, but. I find one where I'll just sit for about five minutes and I'll just put on like a worship song or music that calms me and I'll just practice inhaling for three, exhaling for six. And that slows down your parasympathetic nervous system and it just keeps you at a calm state and lowers your stress and just feels so good. And when I'm on my period, my stress levels are very high, so that really helps. And then yoga and stretching, obviously stretching just feels so good. It lengthens your muscles, it gets you in that flow, it gets that blood flow circulation going, and yeah, it's just really helpful. Another tip is to get outside as much as you can, fresh air, sunshine, those are all things that are gonna boost those endorphins and those feel-good chemicals in your body, so when you're in that bad period mood just getting outside in sunshine walking around going and getting your favorite treat your favorite coffee whatever it is it will make you feel so much better and it'll really help your mental state on your period too another tip is journaling um, when I'm on my period it seems like every little thing can aggravate me or irritate me easily and a lot of those things aren't very valid like I'll find myself getting annoyed with Lucas for little things that I shouldn't get annoyed with him for like seeing his socks on the floor or just stupid stuff that should never spark an argument or a fight and before if I were to like give into those and like get angry at him and say something I would always regret it after because I was like wow I have no place to say like pick up your socks because I leave my socks too but when I'm on my period those things seem so pressing for some reason so if I can get into the habit of like writing down my thoughts and feelings in my journal and literally saying like Lucas left his his socks on the floor and I feel annoyed about it like kind of seeing that on paper you're able to process it and you're able to ah, my camera died I had to put a new battery in it you're able to process it and you're able to see if it's worth the bringing up and getting into a mini argument about or not and most of the time it's not so journaling and writing your thoughts and putting those down on paper helps so much with your mental state your emotional state and your stress well I think that covered most of my main tip I hope that helps you and if you have more specific questions you can drop them in the comments and I'll try to get all of those answered as well click that subscribe if you want to see more from me I post weekly on here now I love you guys so much thank you for all your support I'm gonna go make a child chocolate smoothie right now. I'm craving chocolate so bad. My cramps hurt so bad. Oh.